everything's more expensive now. I, I tell you, we had it better under Bush. You gotta be kidding me. I spent my entire pension on a colonoscopy in 07. Amen. My colon better be clean, I tell you. Mine is filthy. this oh I am I'm sorry you surprised me I am sorry I I'm I'm George Schroeder Rosewood administrator in chief oh I'm Prudence Donaldson oh okay the new caregiver <laughs> you know what you surprised us now because we were not expecting you until this afternoon slap her Becky no do we know Helen Helen? I heard her screaming. I've determined she's a she's alive. Well, I inherited the job from my mother. She ran Rosewood fifty years. She actually became a resident herself. Bit of a conflict of interest. Oh, heavy dementia. But, uh, she didn't want to let this place go. Yucks. Oh, yeah. Mother was a trooper. She did die, eventually. She smothered herself with her own pillow. I didn't do it, you know. I didn't say anything. Well. As you can tell, there aren't that many residents on this particular hall. I like to think of it as the annex. Because, well, this is Caroline. Knock, knock. Caroline, I've got someone I'd like you to meet. This is Prudence Donaldson, our new caregiver. Prudence is from Australia. As you can see, Caroline is one of our Spryer residents. Mr. Schroeder is being kind. I have deteriorated almost completely. Oop. You know what? I have got to run. Becky! Don't worry. It always takes people a moment to digest this. What? Me. So, so sad. What have you got? Where to begin? S septic pneumonia, for starters. So you're not just messing around in a wheelchair? Excuse me? You know, like, having fun wheeling around. No, I'm not having fun wheeling around. I'm an invalid. <coughs> it's not up to me. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Caroline. Mentally, she's strange, of course, but physically, she's perfectly fine. Caroline has something, well, the closest clinical term is Munchausen syndrome. She pretends to be injured or sick. Is it for attention? You know, is it out of some fear? Why isn't she in hospital? Well, she's not really a danger to herself. Probably because she's so bad at faking all of her illnesses. Now, do I think a 23-year-old should be living here? Probably not, but it's her choice. Plus, her parents paid double the residential fees. And when the accreditation committee comes through, we just stick her in the storage closet. Not, not the one Mother's in. You are 
run off. You can do this yourself. I'm not playing along anymore. It's fucking pretend. I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk to me like that if I was you. I know your secret. What? Were you looking for this? Where did you get that? If you insist on leaving your purse in your locker, I will pick the lock and go through it. Give it to me. No. Give me the fucking bottle of brutalizer. I knew it. I knew you were some sort of jacked up jailbird. Is that why you use an alias? Interesting that Mr. Schroeder should introduce you as Prudence Donaldson when it appears your real name is Helen Rogers. I'm not an idiot. You're a fugitive. I don't want to discuss this here. Let's go for a walk. I'm not going anywhere with you, Helen. Get in your chair. Help! Help me! I'd like you to keep quiet about what you found in my purse. Unlikely. I will show the bottle to Mr. Schroeder. And you will be back, post-haste in whatever women's facility you dug your way out of. If you were going to tell someone, you would have already. You want something. Tell me now. Ultimately, I will need physician-assisted suicide. But until then, I will need help to complete my memoirs. And if I do that, if I help you with your memoirs... And kill me. You'll keep quiet and you'll give me my vitamins. We left off on syphilis, part four. Did you bring a journal, Helen? Prudence? Put up, mate. Let's go. Check, 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 check.